In this nail tutorial, what we're going to be making is water decals, homemade water decals. And it's really simple and easy. And what you need is just some pictures uh, from a magazine, okay? And I use Sally Hansen's InstaDry top coat called Clearly Quick. I found an image in this uh, magazine here, and I'm gonna use the bird image, okay? And I'm gonna be putting it on my thumbnail right over top of this nail. What I've done so far is I have kind of held up my nail to where I want the image, and I've just taken a pencil and I've just uh, made a square around the image that I want to use. And here is the image right here that we're gonna use inside this square. And I went around the square with pen so you could see it. And it's so simple. All you do is you just take your clear, and like I said, I'm using Sally Hansen InstaDry. I think it works great for um, the decals and for the um, stamping decals as well. Just get a nice thick coat. You're gonna let this dry completely and then you're gonna come back in and you're gonna give it a second coat. Okay. Time to go ahead and put our second coat on. Coat of clear polish is now dry and I won't be needing a third coat. Now I want to explain to you why I go ahead and I draw a square around the image that I want and then I paint it instead of per se cutting out the square and then painting it. And the reason you can see it right here is that it'll start to curl the image once if you cut it out. Here's the one that I did um, earlier and you can see that. And you don't want it to start curling on you because it's it's too difficult to paint. And when we cut the image out and we want to put it inside the water, you want to use like a hot water. And the reason you want to use hot water is because it kind of softens the clear polish and makes it less brittle and more pliable and it's easier to apply that way. I have painted my nail one coat of Revlon's color called Muse. And I cut the image out so that it would fit on my nail nicely, wide enough, you know, and long enough. That's why you want to make sure you measure it, you know, and draw a square around it. Now we're gonna put it inside the hot water here. And it doesn't matter if it sinks or whatever. It'll start getting soft. And you just maybe leave it in there for 30 seconds to 40 seconds. It's been in the water for about 40 seconds to one minute. And when you take it out, you need to start and um, start just peeling the uh, back off of it, the paper back. And you just do that until it all comes off. See, it's coming right off and you can see that bird image. And here's what the decal looks like. It has all the paper off of it. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? And to apply the decal, what I like to do is just go ahead and add another coat of, of clear nail polish on top of that, and that way you'll be sure that the decal will stick. It doesn't have to be perfect. And position your decal where you want it, make sure it'll fit, and then start pushing it down into the nail. Smoothing out any wrinkles, and you can use um, acetone and nail polish remover to clean up the edges, okay? Just keep pushing it, pushing out all the wrinkles. And if you need to, you can lift up the decal and add more polish under it. You know, and that color, like I said, that the color that you use, um, like I used the Revlon color, it doesn't have to be like a perfect paint job because you're gonna do this, you see? And it's gonna get messed up anyways. But, yep, and just keep working it on there. 
take some acetone and a brush and you can clean up the edges. It'll start and melt the decal and remove it and help stick it down for you. And here is the 240 grit file. You can just go around the edges to get off any of the leftover decal that you don't want hanging over. And the last thing that you do is you just top coat the nail. And what I use to top coat it is just Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Top Coat in Clear. Here is the finished nail. It has the second coat of top coat on it. And I think it has that vintage look that I was going for. Uh, the actual image from the magazine looked quite old and vintage looking and I do want to say when you are applying your decal to your nail with using like a, a wet polish or a uh, clear top coat you know that's wet or slightly sticky you know be careful because when you're pressing your decal on you can cause rips and tears in it and if you know if you're going with for the vintage look then you know that's okay but um, you can rip and tear your decal, so just be very careful when you're applying it. But you know, this is a great idea for an accent nail. You can find any image in magazines and do this. It works out great. I mean, you can make these ahead of time and store them because when you use them in hot water, it kind of makes them softer. And like I said, you know, maybe practice and see if you prefer uh, making your decal with one coat of clear polish or two coats. Um, I probably would recommend the two coats, but thin, two thin coats, but use hot water to soak it in so it becomes more pliable. But yeah, I mean, isn't this awesome? You can make any kind of nail decal that you like and that any use any image that you see in uh, a magazine. Yeah, it's just great. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.